Hi folks, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you how to use our Santa hat overlays. So I've got my photo open here. I've also opened up the Santa hat that I would like to use. So I'm going to go up here and grab my move tool. I'm going to come over here and click on the Santa hat. I'm going to drag it up to my photo tab and then I'm going to drop it down on my canvas. So the next thing we want to do is let's name this layer Santa hat. And then we're going to want to scale this to fit his head. So on your keyboard, choose Control T or Command T for Mac users. And then what we're going to do is, very important, hold down your Shift key while grabbing any one of these four corners. And that will scale this proportionally so that we don't distort the hat. Okay, so we're going to kind of move it up into place. Kind of fit it on his head. It's a little small, so we'll make it a little bit bigger. And we could even, um, if you come up to the corners, you'll see that your cursor turns into um, a rotation tool. You can even rotate it somewhat if you think that that fits a little bit better <clears throat> on your subject's head. And I think a small rotation really helps that. So then hit enter on your keyboard, and that will apply the transformation. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add a drop shadow underneath the hat to give this a more convincing feel. So we're going to come down here, we're going to add a layer. We're going to name this layer Shadow. And we're going to drag that layer underneath the Santa hat layer because we want that shadow to be underneath the Santa hat. We're going to grab our brush tool and make sure you're using a soft edge brush. You, you can see we are up here. Um, make sure that your foreground color is black. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to carefully paint in the drop shadow and just make it a very slight edge. Something sort of like that. Okay, this might be a bit much over here, but we can fix that later on. Okay, <clears throat> so the, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, reduce the opacity um, until you feel that it fits your composition. So, this actually looks pretty good good right about here, maybe about 20, let's give it 25. Okay. So, <clears throat> as I said before, we went off a little bit over here. That's okay. We can put a layer mask on this, and we can paint off the areas that we, that we went over on. So, to do that, you'll click into the layer mask, and you can see your layer mask is active because it's got the four corners around it. You want to use a black brush, again, so it's black. And with black, you can paint away. So this little spot where I went over, you can paint that right off. If you thought that was a little too much right there, you could paint that off too, because I did think that was a little bit too much. Um, and then you can also move your shadow. So if you wanted to sort of you know, move it up a little bit, I use my arrow keys on my um, keyboard, and you can simply nudge it up. Um, so I just nudged it up like about two, two uh, spots there. So if you turn your shadow off and then turn it back on again, you can see it's, it's very slight, but it's, it's a tool <clears throat> that makes your composition very convincing. And that's basically it. That's how you use our Santa hat overlays.